Hello and welcome back to the Salty Beaver channel. Been thinking a lot about what to do when the snow flies and Canadian winter is here because we won't be able to get out as much and explore. So I've decided that we'll do a little mini series within our channel and that will be how to be Canadian, eh? There are lots of things that probably people don't know about Canada and I thought we could bring you a little bit about our country. So today is the day, the snow is flying, have a look outside. This is the place to learn about food, stereotypes, culture and all things Canadian. So let's go, eh? So the thing that brings cultures together is their food. Now Canada is a really young country, we're only 153 years old, and we have been formed by immigrants from countries all over the world. And because of that, we have a very wide variety of foods. We don't have a lot of things that are distinctly Canadian, but there are a couple. So one of them is the butter tart. Never heard of it before? That's okay because we're going to be going into that in this episode. It's a pastry that was made by the pioneers in Canada and the very first time that it was ever recorded in a cookbook was in 1901 and it was in the Women's Auxiliary of the Royal Victoria Hospital Cookbook. So I believe that is somewhere in a museum in Ontario. But there are a lot of different recipes around and uh, I'll pick one and we're going to make it. Forget the beaver, forget the glorious maple leaf, forget the majestic and haunting loon. For all these years, the country has completely overlooked the most important contribution to our identity as a nation, the butter tart. The delicate crust supports the rich and creamy center just as the oceans border our natural resources and the people and the animals that dwell here. Variations and size of butter tarts abound, just as there are so many varied cultures living harmoniously in our wonderful country. The Americans have their symbols and saying, eagles and apple pies, bombs and movie stars. We have the butter tart, born and baked in this incredible land of ours to be a constant reminder of how sweet and likable we are. We're going to preheat the oven at 425. So I made some of my own pie crust and put them into my baking sheet to make the tart shells. But you can also pick up these frozen ones that come in your grocery store in the frozen food aisle, which makes it super easy. So we're gonna start first with two thirds of a cup of brown sugar. And because we're Canadian, the magic ingredient. Then a third of a cup of maple syrup. Four tablespoons of really softened butter. A pinch of salt. Teaspoon of vanilla. I want to add one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar and a handful of raisins and we're going to mix that all up. We post videos every Wednesday, so subscribe and hit that bell button so you don't miss any. Bake at 400. 
125 degrees for about 18 minutes. The butter tarts are bubbling hot when they come out of the oven. Once they cool down a bit, take a knife and run it around the muffin tin to loosen up the pastry. So there you have it, a quintessential Canadian dessert. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment and subscribe. And we'll see you next Wednesday.